first last season as he hits one hard on the ground. Backhand stopped by Anderson, fumbles it on the exchange, and Hale is able to beat it out. Another 0-2. Reached out and rolled deep in the hole. And nothing Borden can do about that. Back-to-back -back infield singles with two outs for Jackson. Chopped into left base hit. Hill turns through third. And the relay is late. Runners will both advance as the throw down to second is high. Jackson State takes the 1-0 lead and have two in scoring position. Another one cued softly along third. The pick and the throw by Compton, the dig by Jenkins. We walked Hall to lead off. Hall is in motion as that ball is driven into left and it sinks in front of Evans for a base hit. Reaches out, flares it into right. Coming on his Rhodes, he makes the grab. One away and both runners stay put. Mate struggling a little bit this year. He still has the ability to go ahead and put the bat on the ball and to drive in some runs. So. And he sure does. Bores one in on him. And a big strikeout with the taste just a little better. And that one uh -oh. sails into the screen. All runners in motion. And the catcher, Rodriguez, cannot fish it out from the backstop. Thick strikeout against 13 walks as he smashes it up the middle. A smooth single to center by Parada. He will score two as the Jackets take the lead 3-1. And Parada hustles his way to second. Looking to go away on Compton. Oh. Instead, hits one in the air to center field. Melton ranging back. He has room in front of the wall. Hauls it in. Georgia Tech strands two, but scores three. Oh. And the 3 2 is hammered deep into left field. And Williams goes yard to lead off the Tiger fourth. The sophomore Jalen Williams with his second home run of the year. And he sends one slicing into right center. That'll get down and roll towards the wall. Rhodes coasts into second. He follows the Williams home run. Bunt rolls on the grass to third. Compton up with him. One away with Anderson covering. Gets the bunt down. Runner breaks for home. Tag applied by Parada, and he's out. Chop to third. Compton stays back on it, and the toss across to retire Melton. Sharply hit ground ball, bobbled a bit, but the recovery by Hill. Impressive to see. Fly ball lifted down the line by Anderson. Long run for Rhodes, and it'll bounce up in front of the 334 sign. Anderson muscling up, and he legs out the double with one out. Lashed down the line. And RBI for Romano, he may have himself an extra base, making the hard turn through first. A head for a slide as the ball is bobbled over second. And so he is being evaluated as that ball is banged into right by Gonzalez for a base hit. Romano windmilled through third. As the relay is cut off, Gonzalez has an RBI. And Tech stretches the lead to three. All the weight shifting from the backside to the front. Well, speaking of a weight transfer, Driven deep by Compton and just over the wall. A bullet by Compton. Gets out of here in a hurry. And it's a two-run homer for the Jackets. They take the 7-2 lead. Grounded sharply to short. Eaten up. Throw is high. Pulls Williams off the bag and Jenkins able to beat it out. He hits one into right center field. Melton turns his back toward the track, toward the wall. Gives it a leap, but Hall gives it a ride. A two-run homer for Colin Hall. I think that the, uh, the Lizard definitely falls in the latter category there. Another ball given a ride by Reed. This one will settle at the warning track, hauled in by Rhodes. And the Jackets retired in 3-2 to Guy. Lines it into center field and down for a base hit. Oh, and it rolls through the glove of Hall. And Ayer is going to give Guy second. Argument there. Deep in the hole, Borden ranging over. Tough play across his body. In time, runner breaks for third. Here's the tag there. Like uh, Mike Nickies back in the day. Nickies was from California and had that ability to go ahead and keep things real calm. Uh, and as a pitcher, that's what you're looking for, that guy that can you know, keep you... 
Chop to Borden. Well, there's a magnet in his mitt. Shovels to Anderson. Turn to first. And that's two. And on a couple of tempting pitches, 3-2 pitches, grounded to second. Guy squares to second for one, relay to first, double play. That ball is ripped into right in front of the wall. Gonzalez hunting for extra bases and into second with the double. Group of athletes, um, and, you know, Dion doing it, uh, you know, as a baseball player and a football player. Obviously, Bo Jackson was in the same yeah. era, so... In six official at-bats, smokes this into the gap, up against the wall. Extra bases for Evans as he digs for a double. It's a good program as Rodriguez waves and misses. Parada throws to first to complete the strikeout, two gone. In for two this week against the Jackets, and that ball is lined in the left for a base hit. It'll score run with two outs, Gomez Rivera from the nine hole. Makes it 9-4. One day. That's a lot of innings they played. Runner goes, throw down to third, is over the bag, but it can't be handled. And they know the type of ball they're trying to play, and uh, uh, took advantage of an opportunity right there, and that leads to a, a run scoring right here that wouldn't have happened otherwise. Whether Gomez Rivera was at second or third, Melton would have scored him regardless. Last year. Pitch inside, throw to second. Melton slides in safe, make him 13 of 14 in stolen bases this year. Melton takes off for third. Parada with the throw. That time it's on target, and Melton is out. Fly ball, hit well, left center field. Melton at the track, gives it a leap, and it's out of here. So it's Andrew Jenkins' turn to join the home run parade, a third two-run shot of the day for the Jackets. Momentum back on the hitter's plate, especially a hitter like Jenkins. Uh, you know, that's hard to go ahead and come back and execute and make that pitch. And uh, so for him and Simpson to be out, um, you know, it's really making, you know, good leaders at the top. A lot of juniors and seniors that were leading the team. Here gives this a ride, and it's off the glove of Evans and left. It'll score two runs. Tyler Hare, the pinch hitter, delivering it with a climbing fly ball to left field. The 3-1 to Guy, high and outside, leadoff walk in the JSU 7th. Runner takes off, pitch hit in the air, deep right field, Reed giving chase, looks up, he'll have to play it off the wall, and it bounces over for a ground rule double. And uh, again, just have that concept of, you know, hey, Slow roll to third. We'll see if there's time. Oh, and that ball sails away from Jenkins on the collision. One run comes in. Riley, though, is down in a heap behind the first base bag. Oh, he never Ooh, and that. he is not moving much. As that throw was up the line from Compton, and you saw Jenkins' glove spin out of his hands on the collision. So Riley comes out moving pretty hard right there. I want to see his hand actually took Jenkins' glove off, and I think that was the source of Danny Hall's conversation, and now they're going to review that. Uh, position player's nervous. Oh, comebacker speared by Rodig to second for one. Anderson pumps to first. Double play, and Hill stays put at third. Aaron. Okay. Let me, let me see what I can think of. Prada with a drive into left center, but it's run down by Melton. He got beamed in the head, and it sparked a benches-clearing brawl. That's why you're, uh, you're out here calling games today. And this is a pretty memorable swing from Andrew Jenkins. He's got a second home run of the day on a no-doubt shot to left. A home run in back-to-back -back innings and back-to-back at-bats for the Yellow Jacket first baseman. Now thinking two on board and a wave and a miss, and he goes down. Fly ball off the end of his bat, though. And this should do it for the Georgia Tech seventh. They score two, they strand two. So that's going to be Brandon Prince, who takes over and left. Popped into foul territory. Parada toward the on-deck circle, reels it in. Another 2-2 from Rodig, and he got him out in front. Gomez Rivera down swinging. World Series team. And he is a JSU Islam, as this one is given a ride by Melton. Wynn might have held it up, though, as Prince pulls it in. You get back on and, uh, you know, face the, face the hitter. Up. It, 
It changes the dynamic a little bit, puts the hitter on the... We had moved the start time up to 2 p.m. We're still able to get this one close to being completed as that ball deep enough to tag the lead runner. You belong on this team. You're helping us out. You're putting us in a great spot to win. Campbell goes to second, turn and throw to first, not in time. 250 on the year. Bouncing ball back up the middle. Gloved, but no throw. Run comes home. And now with the 10 runs, that should do it. Infield single RBI by Rubenstein. And I think the word now trickling out to the players that the 10 run rule is in effect and this ball game is in the books. So Georgia Tech takes the first game of two against Jackson State during the midweek. Our final score 16 to 6. They were